All right, here I'm going to, uh, for my game, I'm going to convert some Mixamo animations into iClone so I can use it with my iClone character. So what I'm going to do is use the 3D Exchange. And I'm going to drag in my first one, which is just uh, a closing a lid. And I'm going to use these for some for for the sequences and others I'm going to be using for you know, actual gameplay. All right. I just use Mixamo's default character for for um, for the looks. Okay, so he scaled correctly. So I'm going to take him um, and let's convert it to uh, non. Well, let's take a look at it first. as well. Alright, so let's convert it to a um, non-standard. Alright, so it's, uh, it's the Maya IK. Let's make sure it's going to work okay. Nope. Alright, actually so i got to load the characterization profile. I think it was this bottom one here. Okay, now Maya. Yep, there it is. Okay, looked okay. Looks good. So I'm going to convert it. So I'm going to take my action here and then I'm just going to export it. Right in the iClone. No geometry. And the file name is going to be closing the lid and actually it's going to export both uh, both of them. I, I'll delete the other one. Um, but the folder, I actually have uh, an actions folder here I created, so I'm just going to uh, put it into actions just so I can find it later. come in here and there it is so I just forget which one's which so let's test this one. Oh, it's just the t-pose so I can just delete that one let's get this other one put it on there we go hit play That's all that took. And if I wanted to uh, <coughs> change the hands or do any others, I can I can add additional animations if I if I wanted to. And I'm not going to do it here. I'm holding down my Alt and then my wheel bar just to. Uh, I want to get this whole thing in the frame here. There we go. Oh. Come on, let's go all the way back to the beginning. I'm going to shrink it down. There we go. So here's the... Right here is going to be my end clip. Yep. So there's a... If I wanted to save this to Unreal right now, I just type... Oh, wrong one. I want to do this uh, collected clip here. And then I can add the motion to 3D Exchange and then convert it into Unreal. Or I can just, uh, easy way, and just export it as an FBX from here. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. So, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete this. 
I'll do one more and then I'll, I'll show out the video I got. Jeez, maybe, I don't know, 15 to do. And then I'll be done with getting him. And then I got, I already have him in my un Unreal Engine for my cutscenes that I've already done. But I'm going to do him in my fresh project. I'm going to re export him into it. So, all right, let's get into here. Do a new project. This one's going to be closing a door or a cupboard or something. I don't remember. Yeah, I guess it could be a cupboard or a door. All right, let's convert them. I can get rid of this top one. I don't. No, I don't export it twice. Oops. Looks good. Now let's do the Maya. Do one more test just to show. So all looks good. I'm going to convert it. So let's export. This is going to be actions again. Looks good. Looks like I have to, the shirt has some poke throughs. I'm going to have to fix that. Put another action down. So, okay, I'm going to move on and I'm going to shut this down because you don't need to see same thing over and over again. <laughs> 